the Court of Appeal and its justices have been, permit me to say, trending lately in both conventional and social media. The proceedings and verdicts of the war you face will chase you, the roof you face will chase you. I don't go to court, but what will face you is bigger than court. Through this stoning of your enemies, your enemies, now you're going to now have what you are looking for in life. One said that the stone that David used to kill Goliath, he, he has it. That you should come and buy. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I welcome you once again to the End Time Truth Television. God bless you. Uh, this video is um, a follow-up to the trend of um, the battle between uh, VDM, uh, Jeremiah Omotofufenyi, and uh, some fake and false apostles and prophets and pastors on one hand who are claiming that this is an attack against the body of Christ. I understand you may also be on either side of the divide. Whichever side you fall in, I just like you to follow your conscience. If your conscience, if you think that what you say, you know, doing over this, you know, is the right thing, follow it. If a part of those that think that, um, you know, this, what Jeremiah and the rest others are doing to the body of Christ is right, follow it. If you think that this is indeed, a, a, you know, an attack, from those of us speaking against some, so in, you know, uh, some of these strange things, that it is an attack against the body of Christ, follow suit. And I would like you to understand that at the end of the day, everybody will be answerable to one judge, and that is God. Now, in this video, I'd like you to watch and see how people, you know, can be so disgraceful and so shameless. Recently, uh, portable, portable. If you know portable, that tout that is singing, um, you know, the hip hop tout. He slapped a preacher and no no pastor has made a comment to condemn that no bishops or pastors or apostles or prophets have staged a protest against that none of them has said anything i can only see you know young people internet users making comments about it but none of these pastors have reason to condemn that and have mandated portable to apologize to the brother that he slapped we are not yet in the time of the antichrist yet and such such a nobody has i'm sorry i'm sorry for the language i'm using but that kind of a person should not be a person that will become a threat to evangelism in the country where we have pastors now but what we have are, are preachers that are shamelessly disgracing their families on the pages of social media because they are defending a man they think they you know if they are in his good book he can favor them with some money and so you hear a so-called prophet now issuing threats and making making some kind of of statements that are only only akin to occultist witch doctors to the point that he even used his his own father's grave to swear i'm not going to preempt what is in the video but i'd like you to pay attention and listen to what your prophet is saying whether you will come and carry your prophet or you will leave him to be disgracing himself not only him majority or you know many others are falling in line but the question is what does your conscience say happy viewing now uh the very dark man looking at your age you are a very small boy uh, I, I, you are a very small boy but you are very rude you are very, very proud of yourself and you are a very pompous person. I know your characters. I know the way you do things. I know how you operate. I have some of you in my house. I have boys that I raise in different fear of life who act like you, like the way you act. But with the experience I've, get, I've, I've seen in life, I find out that all turn to become um, really valities upon valid. Now, the very dark man, I want to tell you something. I am not here to speak for anybody, but I'm here to defend the body of Christ whom you have come to mock, which I know that it will end you. The body of Christ you come to mock is a deep valley and that is not the place a young child like you, a mother and a father 
and the family, friends, and people around you want you to progress. So don't come to the body of Christ and trying to drag a man of God. I know the country, the kind of the part of country that will come from. I know the way you people reason, but I've proved beyond doubt to you people. I've proved beyond doubt to you people in every areas. I've raised the dead. I've healed the sick. I've commanded the eyes of the blind and the open. Now, there is something I want you to understand about ministry. Jeremiah Omotu for free is a prophet. And I don't want um, if you are mocking Jeremiah Omotufure, it means you are mocking me. It means you are coming to point eyes, to point hands to me. The, the very, very dark man. It means, it means you are challenging me to my face. And if you are challenging me to my face, then I will prove power to you. And then you will see power itself. I'm telling you. Then you see power power itself I won't come to you but you see powers around you you see things around you falling falling and you see power now I don't want you to 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 to, to monk the body of Christ because I saw a video where you were advertising you were trying to you you went to the you know the Maya church and you buy some things and then you were exercising it and you were mocking him you were mocking it's not Jeremiah you were mocking you are mocking the body of Christ and I'm and I'm touched and I'm touched and I tell you to your face Jeremiah uh, the, the young boy what what they call it uh, the very, very dark man. Yeah, as I'm doing this video, if you have audacity, you challenge me. You challenge me. Challenge me. Do a video and challenge me. Do a video and challenge me. Do a video and challenge me. I will not reply you, but you will see what will chase you. The cloud will chase you. The earth will chase you. The wind will chase you. The breath you breathe will chase you. I am prophet Godwin Ikoro. I'm done telling you. The bed you lie down will, will chase you. The wall you face will chase you. The roof you face will chase you. You may be strong in your shrine, but I I will tell you what prepare very well and face me. You prepare very well and face me. I don't I don't go to court. I don't go to court, but what will face you is bigger than court. I'm telling you this. Quit from the church and face the cream issues you are, you are dealing with. The cream issue. Fake cream, things concerning cream. I want you to do that. In as much as I, I, I respect you in that area of trying to really clean fake products from the market. Don't go to the church. If you go to the church, if you go to the church, if you go to the church, the road will cut before you. I, 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 I say the road will cut before you. Road will cut before you. Road will cut before you. If you go before the church, very dark man. If you go before the church, I say the road will come before you. I swear with my father's grave. I swear with my father's grave. So, having listened to this man, um, VDM's response will come after this. But having listened to him, uh, tell me what is the resemblance of Christ at all in what this his own stand. Now, even if you think that a very dark black man is doing what you don't think was right or what you think is not right, um, is that how to how to come? Is that how to speak as a Christian, as a pastor that you claim to be? 
you know what is the difference between you and an occultist because all that you have said is was lay cause on the young man is that what jesus taught i mean is that what jesus taught i know that um you know christianity of today everybody has opinion and everybody's opinion could be right but you also maybe this is your pastor you either come and carry your pastor or you tell us what you think you know what you think because if if you don't carry him it means that you are in support of what he's saying now the question is where and how does this represent the body of christ that he claimed to be fighting for the, his own languages the, his own language the wordings that came out from his mouth how does this how does this represent christ and the church how does this is is this not even the main attack against the body of christ i ask a question if you know the answer please answer me all right as you all know the rat tail never back down and the light challenge like this first of all i will challenge you first before we go spiritual I won't challenge you for this. I want no. I challenge you for physical. Make a fair use opportunity to face and sand you. This and sand you. Can you just imagine? This is coming from a man of God. You can sense the aura, the darkness. The darkness. Gone are the days when men of God, they use God's name, the brag. Now all of them, they use their own name. I have powers. I have powers. I'm calling, I see, I'm calling out Asimwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, my president. I'm calling you out. You gave the wrong person the minister of power. Give this man, Minister of Power, more get life 24 hours with all the power so he gets. You can't use any hands of the teacher to me. Say who you be. My hands will haunt me. My breath will haunt me. My this will haunt me. You cannot do anything. I give you a go ahead to go and use the greatest power you have. You don't move me. Who you to say the follow talk? Hmm? Who do you think you are talking to? Do you know me? Which power do you think you have? I say go to the highest level of power you have. You don't touch me. I mean to tell you. We stand feet. You don't understand? We stand feet. Now, God, if God no run and nobody feet, unless if God say VDM, come and go. But you see, nobody. Now, in order to prove it to you that you have no power, I give you three days to use those power that you say you have. If nothing happens to me in three days, you are an anyhow man and you no get head. That means you are powerless and anybody that believes in you should stop believing you, believing in you. If in three days nothing happened to me, delete your Facebook, delete your Instagram, and delete your TikTok. You are no longer regarded as somebody that is powerful. You don't get power. I give you three days. Three days. Who did you say the follow talk? Who did you say the follow talk? Siam, and this one called himself a man of God. What power do you have? Are you God? Are you God? Did you give me bread? You can breathe in air. I can breathe in air. You have so much power and you know go hospital, go raise go raise people where they suffer for hospitals, where they pay dialysis money for people who get kidney. How about people where they are on oxygen? And you say you have powers? What kind of man of God are you when you cannot help the people that are in a vulnerable position? What kind of power, what kind of man of God are you when you cannot help the people that really need help? When you cannot go and heal the sick in the hospitals and raise the dead? So you are proud to do evil? ...to this video. I'd like you to look at the incident where this young man slapped a preacher because he was pushing. And I have not seen, you may have seen, I've not seen where any of these people have come out to condemn it and compelled Portable to issue an apology. If you have seen, please let me know. But I'm sure I've not seen. Listen to this. Just watch Portable slap a Christian brother just for preaching the gospel in front of his back. Yes, yeah, I don't see you. You come here with a rock by only minority. 
So there you you are there you have it and um you know there is no other reason is the only, only reason was that if anybody here heard the message and probably accepts Christ that might be minus one and so the only way to attack uh, to stop that was to attack the person but he could have done it gently hey we don't want that here leave this place but for him to have slapped that man like that. And this, your men have seen it. None of them has spoken about it. They're only fronting for Jeremiah because Jeremiah at the point he is now is vulnerably needing any kind of help and support that he can get. And so anybody who does that definitely uh, may actually receive some form of uh, recognition and compensation. All right. And the, the issue is this. How can you defend a man that is already denying his own actions? You see, when when the same man you are defending is denying the things that he has done denying that he is not selling spiritual items and that anybody who sells spiritual items are on that course now listen to Jeremiah. i want to now make you people clear tonight the spiritual items are not for sale the spiritual items are not for sale and anybody out there sell these spiritual items to you i will lay costs on them i will lay costs on them because it's not for sale so i think the question is is it true is it really true that jeremiah is not selling his spiritual items the fact that the heat came upon him and he hurriedly organized this program where he launched the same miracle soap and purportedly gave them away does that mean he is not selling the miracle items okay now we have on his um on his uh website his uh online stores all these things displayed of course i've brought you a video here that we looked at those things more than seven different kinds of water and apple and perfume some you use to clean your spiritual mouth or door you know the soap actually was supposed to be used to wash away the smelling you know of your body that was not washed away when you were giving birth to that was what the soap was meant for and eventually when he was harassed and challenged he began to look for all kinds of things even um reverend kesiana isiri also spoke about uh some of these things that jeremiah is selling so the question is how do you defend a man like this listen to reverend kesiana isiri the things that you never get targeted last last four months you couldn't get before through this toning of your enemies your enemies now you're going to now have what you are looking for in life i will tell you what to do with the stone when you come because we have just rolled away the stone but this one we're going to stone our enemies we have God of jeremiah he has done it again thank you father thank you Jesus. Viewers all over the world, wherever, wherever you are, you can see what I, what's right now, happening right now. One said that the stone that David used to kill Goliath, he, he has it. That you should come and buy. The stone. They sent me one video today, I had to delete it, I was angry, I was irritated. So, finally, what are we saying? What we're saying is that it is dangerous to become a slave to mammon all the things you see both those defending him and he himself he knows they know what they're doing jeremiah also knows what he is doing and you cannot tell me that he doesn't know what he's doing you can't tell me that he's doing this thing just because of his members it is not true all right now but the truth is that god will bring everyone's work to judgment a lot of you oh no some of you um who are so hurt that uh, these things are being spoken about um i've read some comments that accuse me of being the same thing with jeremiah because we are creating content with what they are doing and so we are smiling to the bank and i challenge you 
If you think it is that easy to make these things and also smile to the banks, why not? You know, you can just start. Start with your phone. If you could type, you know, under the videos, that means that you have an Android phone. The phone I'm using now is very bad. The screen is bad. And, um, you know, the, the camera is not good enough. That is why you're not seeing my face. So it's not as if I'm hiding, you know, like some persons have thoughts already. Um, so it is not about that. So you can also start and then begin to smile to the bank as well. But one thing I promise you is that it is very difficult to save yourself from the power of mammon. Once mammon, you know, uh, monopolizes your soul, uh, it becomes very difficult. That was why Jesus, when he was talking about, let's, he said, let your eye be single. If your eye is single, great will be the light of your body. But now, when your eye is evil, remember that the opposite of single is not evil. But the Lord was talking about focus and vision. All right? He said, when your eye is evil, great will be the darkness you know, of your body and your life. And then from there, he moved immediately and said, you cannot serve two masters. Remember how Jesus did not say you cannot serve God and Satan. He said you cannot serve God and mammon because mammon is a terrible God. Mammon is a terrible God. Yes, the devil is a bad devil, but mammon, when it, he monopolizes the soul of a man, it is difficult. It is difficult for the person to befriend. Jesus was like, you cannot serve God and serve mammon. Because when mammon comes, mammon will impose himself on you. Mammon will entice you so much to the point that you are, you know, he will give you a lot of bait that will drag you in and he will lock you in. And you see, sometimes you are even doing it, you think you are doing the will of God, you think you are doing God's service, but you are serving mammon. mammon. And you also that has been, um, you know, being pastored with the spirit of mammon, you defend them, you think you are defending Christ. You don't know you are defending the spirit of mammon. You have been held captive by, by you know, the captor who captured, who captured your, your so-called uh, papa and, and mama. But you can still be free anyway because there is nothing Jesus cannot do. It's only for you to relax. You see, relax. I understand that sometimes people can say things that are not true about pastors. People can say things that are wrong. Some out of malice and wickedness can come out and coin something that they don't know about a man of God. And that is why me, I'm being very careful, you know, with some accusations and allegations that are coming out against people. I don't, you know, I don't carelessly get involved because by experience, we know that some persons can just pick up stories that they don't know and they begin to talk, begin to talk, begin to say things. But this one are things we see. The statements that they make themselves, the, the advertisements that they carry out by themselves, you know, the sales that they made themselves and somebody comes out to deny the same thing and we have people, you know, defending them. People are, are speaking for them. But what they ought to have spoken against, our own brother was slapped, our own brother was humiliated and nobody has spoken about it. People, people are, you know, the, the defending Jeremiah and all kinds of evil have not had, you, you know, the, the, the guts to speak against that. For they can threaten people, they can curse people. Anybody who speaks against, you know, Suleiman speaks against Jeremiah, speaks against Igila, speaks against uh, anybody, you know, can come under curse. But you are there, and somebody, an alien, a gentile, you know, raised his hand and slapped your fellow Christian. Just because he was preaching, not because he went there to beg for money. He didn't go there to beg for money. He went there to preach the same Christ that you are using his name to enrich yourself. And you cannot speak for him. You are speaking for someone who is blatantly misleading people and enriching himself with the, the you know the people. And you you don't you don't think you are a servant of mammon. You don't think you are bringing shame to the body of Christ. Well, God bless you, people. Let us know what you think about this in the comment section. I came in peace. No insult, no malice, you know, meant. But I just have spoken my mind and I hope that you understand that. God bless you. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so before. Put your comments down in the comment section and share and like the video. And I will be seeing you again in the next video. Till then, from me to you, Shalom.